she has a son, and he, and he, and he married her trying to do the right thing, and he's always, <laughs> which is weird to say about a con man, but is always, you know, personally, on a very personal level, trying to do the right thing, and she is convinced that divorce is morally wrong. Um, and um, so I think she's, um, she's pulling at his heartstrings. I think these characters are all trying to accomplish their own happy ending. They're all trying to, um, they're all trying to be their better selves if that's, have a better life, and that's through this person suffering, sorry, collateral damage. Um, and um, yeah, I think everybody's just trying to, to make it through and to survive and to, and to have their happy ending. The bedroom scene with Christian um, after when he when he comes in from uh, meeting my boyfriend, <laughs> I just it was so funny because a lot of it was written and, and we came up with it kind of in the moment or like right on on set because I <laughs> just the idea that like when Christian said um, you know well I would say this I had such a really great amazing fun character right I could say well Rosalind would say this and it was just so insane. My favorite line was, why can't you just be happy for me? <laughs> when she's talking about moving to Miami with this mafia guy with her son, with his son too. Um, because that, that just basically says everything about Rosalind that you need to know that she really just does not get it. <laughs> It's, it's kind of the most incredible experience. Like I, I wish that working with David O. Russell was some, something kind of like everybody got to do before they died. Um, he, he is, I have him to thank for everything, uh, for my career and for also teaching me uh, so much about myself. And working with him is just like working in the most raw, creative, exciting, um, way. It's not like a normal movie where you're repeating the same thing over and over and over again and everything is kind of based around the cameras. Like he, he, we start performing and then he just throws in the cameras wherever they can fit and it's, and it's so spontaneous. There's never a boring moment on set. It creates a, a lot more vulnerability, which I, I think is where the, um, where his I don't know, um, this flavor <laughs> comes in, is everybody's on their toes and everybody's thinking, and so, and so that's real, and, and it's very raw. And I think that that's, I had never worked that way before, and it scared me, and then he learned very quickly I work better when I'm scared, or when I'm doing something that I don't think that I could, I, that I can do. There were times, I think that we all, you know, Cooper and, and David were both saying that like, I guess we're not crazy. Like when, the, when it came out and people were responding the way that they were because, and I felt the same way. It's like we watch it and we're like, is this okay? Like, cause you, we've never seen anything like it. So I guess it's just unpredictable and weird and beautiful and funny. It's so funny, but very emotional. Well, it's trickery, <laughs> but not trickery. It's, it's kind of uh, winning in a very creative, uh, <laughs> tricky way. <laughs>